What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I want to talk about Silver's pitiful performance last year in 2023. We expected it to do better than it did. I want to talk about what we can learn from that as we move forward into 2024 and beyond. So if you are investing in Silver, if you are stacking Silver, or thinking about starting to buy physical Silver, then this is the video for you. Let's get into it. Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this chart I found over on macrotrends.net, and it is showing you silver's price performance by year so the green lines are when silver's price went up from the start of the year to the end of the year the red lines are when silver's price went down now obviously the first thing we notice on this particular chart is 2020 right the year for covid silver did really well almost up 50 percent for the year and there was a lot going on the whole world shut down there was a lot of stimulus checks right lots of inflation fears of inflation a lot of uncertainty and so people People flock to precious metals and obviously gold and silver responded now in 2021 there was a bit of a consolidation sell-off things starting to normalize and then really since then silver has been flat not much going on in 2022 not much going on in 2023 now depending on if you look at spot price or futures some people say it went up slightly for the year down slightly either way it doesn't matter it was basically flat and we expected silver to do better now obviously the fed was jacking up rates in 2022 and 2023 this was making the dollar much stronger and pushing precious metals down but all that is about to change they're no longer raising rates they're talking about starting to lower rates which is really bullish for silver and gold so are we going to see another year like 2020 i mean are we going to see silver pop up 50% in 2024, this is possible. It's not off the table. I mean, it's an election year. There's a lot of uncertainty. And also we need to consider geopolitical events, right? Wars going on and other wars potentially starting. So a lot happening in 2024. But really, if we look at the big picture, let me zoom out here. You can see most years, this is about 100 years now, silver does go up there's a lot more green lines than red lines and when it goes up typically it goes up more than it has moved down so usually over long periods of time silver does go up so you know it's not a get rich quick scheme we're not really stacking to make a profit in a few months in a few years this is a long-term play for most of us we want to protect our wealth from inflation from a dollar collapse a crisis whatever it may be so what you're doing is you're really taking a piece of your wealth and you're putting it in a time capsule so x number of years down the road your wealth will have been retained and you can still use it to buy things it doesn't matter if the dollar crashes goes into hyperinflation collapses whatever you have wealth that is outside of that system so even if 2024 isn't the big year for silver that we think it's going to be it doesn't matter i still think it's prudent to be stacking silver it's better than the alternatives now let's talk about again why silver didn't perform very well last year and what we can learn from it here is an article over at numismaticnews.net and the headline reads why was gold up in 2023 but not silver if we dig in the first part here for the year 2023 the price of gold rose on the comex 13.5 percent against the u.s dollar while silver only increased 0.5 percent many people consider these two almost interchangeable forms of precious metals 
To have one be strong and the other stagnant over the course of a year has folks scratching their heads to understand what happened. Over time, the prices of gold and silver on a daily basis move in the same direction about 70% of the time. That means for about 30% of the days, one of these metals will close higher than the previous trading day while the other settles lower still over longer time frames they do tend to move in general tandem therefore some people tend to expect both to move in the same direction over multiple weeks months or years this is actually really interesting i didn't realize that 70 percent of the time they do the same thing 30 percent of the time they do the opposite thing so yeah i guess for the most part when gold goes up silver goes up but that isn't always the case the 2023 underperformance of silver discouraged some people later last year from purchasing any bullion priced silver and a larger than normal number of them who owned silver liquidated these holdings wow that's crazy uh the silver institute projects that demand for silver for industrial and photography purposes in 2023 will come to 602.8 million ounces that topped 2022's 584 million ounces of demand for these applications it also exceeded 2019 demand the final year before the pandemic for these purposes where demand totaled 540 million ounces so look at that 540 million in 2019 in 2022 584 million for 2023 the numbers are going to come in at 602.8 million ounces and i'll bet for 2024 they're thinking it's going to be even higher than that they do go on to talk about a few downsides to silver which is why possibly gold is outperforming it at the moment so the first one here however the silver market does have one disadvantage compared to gold no central banks now hold silver in their reserves decades ago the u.s mexico and india did but not any longer Therefore, while central banks added record amounts of gold to their reserves in 2022 and 2023, contributing to a major boost in its price, there was no silver bought by them. So that's really interesting. Obviously, central banks, they buy, they hold lots of gold no silver then they talk about the other issue price manipulation uh there is also a problem where physical or paper silver can be dumped onto the market on short notice to help suppress its price jp morgan chase has been the custodian of the silver inventory of the slv exchange traded fund or etf and holds perhaps hundreds of millions of ounces of physical silver for its own account or for customers it is in a position to mobilize some of this metal to suppress silver's price then after the price falls it can buy back the positions and make a profit we know this is happening people from jp morgan chase are literally sitting in jail because they've been caught spoofing the price too many times right uh but ultimately yes the price of silver and gold for that matter can and has been manipulated they do give a bit of a price prediction so in their estimation it will take the silver market to top 26 dollars per ounce and hold above that level before it can once again soar to 30 50 100 dollars or higher silver only top $26 at the COMEX close one day in 2023 before its price tumbled. And then the last thing they say here, which is probably the most important, keep an eye on silver. The dollar volume of gold trading dwarfs that of silver. Since silver trading is a thinner market, its price can and does move up or down by a greater percentage than gold. Therefore, if any major world calamity erupts, demand for bullion-priced physical silver could skyrocket almost instantly, as we saw early in the pandemic in 2020 and March 2023. So even though gold solidly outperformed silver in 2023, we still recommend that any allocation between the two metals tilt in favor of silver being three to five or two to three of the total value between the two and then they talk about where they think the gold silver ratio is going to go so 
really interesting stuff here honestly i think the biggest thing that's going to affect silver this year is the strength of the dollar where is the dollar going to go is it going to get stronger or weaker if we look back in 2020 the dollar was certainly much lower than it is now i mean below 90 here on this chart now it's up to 103 but it did climb as high as 112 in 2022 so i think that the dollar is probably going to weaken once the fed starts slashing rates here is a look at where the federal funds rate currently stands so basically during covid it went to zero and stayed there for a while then they started raising the rate to combat inflation it is sitting at 5.33 and if we look at predictions for when it's going to start coming down taking a look at the fed watch tool we can see they are not predicting rates will come down in january at the march meeting they're saying there is a very good chance i mean it's basically 50 50 whether rates will stay the same or come down in march then once we get to may they're saying rates are almost certainly going to be dropping at this point so keep an eye on what the fed is doing keep an eye on where rates are headed and this is ultimately going to affect the dollar and probably precious metals as well so honestly i think that 2023 we learned a lot we learned that well it is very hard to predict where silver is going to go if i knew exactly what silver was going to do i probably would not be making youtube videos but i think ultimately the best strategy is just to keep dollar cost averaging because i think that one day we're going to look back on 20 dollars silver and say to ourselves wow it was so cheap back then i wish i had stacked more so anyway let me know down below in the comment section where do you think silver is headed thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one silver dragons out